Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at removing colour from a brush in Adobe Photoshop. Now some brushes are shipped or delivered in Photoshop and they have colour information embedded in them. Here are some of the brushes I have that have colour data. You can see that this is a flower and it's coloured pink and so as soon as I select it I'm going to be painting a pink flower. So even if I start with black as my colour here, as soon as I go and target this brush then I'm going to be painting in pink because it brings colour information with it. If you wanted to remove the colour information from a brush, it's very easy to do so. First of all, you're going to make sure that the brush itself is selected, which mine is selected. Then I'm going to the Brushes panel over here, and I'm going to click the Fly Out menu and choose New Brush Preset, because what we're going to do is save this brush, but this time without the colour information. So down here, by default, you'll probably have Include Colour Enabled. So you want to disable that, and you want to just give your brush a name. So I'm calling mine Flower with no colour, and I'll just click OK. Now, in my Brushes panel, there'll be a brush that's called Flower with no colour. That's what this one is. This is the original one that has pink with it. This one does not have colour information with it. So when we're painting with it, this is going to paint pink right now because that's the colour that I had selected. But now we've got black selected. Let's go and target Flower with no colour and let's paint and it's remaining true to whatever colour it is that is selected to be used. It's not defaulting to the colour that was actually embedded in the original brush. So at any time you can remove colour from brushes in Photoshop by just re-saving the brush as a new preset but this time without colour. Of course if you no longer want the colour version of it you can simply right click it and delete that brush and so it will be deleted from the brushes panel. However you should always be aware that brushes in this brush panel are only here as long as your presets are actually untouched. So if you had to restart Photoshop and delete the presets file because there was some problem with it, then you're going to lose everything. So what you'll want to do is go to Window and then Brushes to get your Brushes panel. In the Brushes panel, you're going to select all the brushes that you want to back up to an external file. I'm just going to take everything. So I'm going to click on my General Brushes at the very top here and Shift click on the last of these brushes. So absolutely everything is selected. I'll right click and choose Export Selected Brushes. I'm just going to date these brushes. I'm just calling it December 2023. That's just a file of all of my brushes as at December 2023. So if I had to reset my Photoshop preferences, it would be easy for me to recover all of my brushes. All I would do is to go and import my brushes. So I go to Import Brushes and then select the December 2023 brushes and just click Load. So that's an easy way of making sure that you're actually saving the brushes that you're making changes to. And that goes for any time that you make a new brush or change the properties of a brush you will want to make sure that you save it to an external file so it's always there. If you like carefully researched content like this clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results then you'll love my Skillshare content. I'm a Skillshare top teacher. I have hundreds of short courses on Skillshare that you can access along with thousands of other great courses all for the price of a single subscription. If you're interested, there's a Skillshare coupon for you in the description below to use to sign up. Using this coupon benefits me as a creator and it helps me continue to make free content available here for you also on YouTube. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. On the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you. If you enjoyed the video you've just watched, I know that you're going to really enjoy the one I've picked for you to watch next.